Do you think I collect too much stuff? Well, I think you have exquisite taste. You bring home a lot of things. Sometimes I think, you know, what are we going to do with this? Where are we going to put it? But with time, I fall in love with every piece that you've collected. That's he's telling full on lies to the camera right now. <laughs> none of this, none of that is true. I am so excited to share this amazing collection with all of you guys today. My name is Whitney Robinson. I have been a long time magazine editor in the design and fashion spaces, most recently at El Decor, but also Town and Country and House Beautiful. My husband has been an editor at Women's Wear Daily and W Magazine since the early 2000s. And together we have lived this incredibly privileged life of writing and exploring the worlds of fashion and design from Boston to Bhutan, from Paris, Rome, Milan, Palm Beach, Los Angeles, you name it. We have traveled the world over the last 20 years amassing an incredibly eclectic collection of art, objects, furniture, antiques, jewelry, books, everything and it is now sitting in a variety of storage facilities and apartments throughout the greater new york city metropolitan area and it is time after 20 years of passionate collecting to share all of these incredible pieces with you guys and we hope that each and every object finds a new home in one of your fabulous spaces around the world hello i'm mark Haramzada. I am Whitney Robinson's husband. You know, we've lived together for very many years and over the time we've collected many beautiful things that we're now happy to share with the world. I have been a fashion editor for almost 20 years and I have been in Milan and Paris meeting with designers and throughout those years I've collected many books and many objects that connect me to the fashion world, such as this wonderful Perry Ellis book. Perry Ellis was one of the masters of American fashion and it's these books that have taught me everything about the industry that I love so much. So one of the most amazing things I think about our, uh, of what we've collected is that we have traveled so much since we met. We've traveled the world many, many, many times over. That's partially because you are not from here. <laughs> Are you an American citizen? I am an American citizen. That's I did grow up in Europe, so we do like to travel in Europe and other parts of the world. I, I think, you know, a lot of times when we go to these places, whether it's Biarritz or Paris or, you know, uh, Rome or, you know, wherever we've been, we love to look at shops. We love to look at, you know, antiques. And we always come home with something that feels special and reminds us of those special times we've had when we travel. I think that's beautifully said. I think that that's, um, that is a, a really beautiful way of putting it. You've never said it to me like that before, so I appreciate that. Usually it's, please don't buy that. <laughs> and how are we gonna get that home? Um, well, because usually I'm charged with making, you know, figuring out how to ship it home. The logistics of it. <laughs> In that time, we've known each other since 2007. Yes. Yeah. We got together about a year later, I guess. We have collected a lot of stuff. We have amassed about three houses worth of beautiful art, objets, and antiques. And a lot of it now lives in storage, even though we have a pretty sizable apartment. And when we were passing Doyle, I think we looked at each other and thought, where do we go now? What do we do now? And I think part of what we wanted to do is shed a lot of that first 20 years of accumulation and share these beautiful objects and objets and antiques with a new, a new audience who I think will really appreciate them. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I mean, you know, a lot of these things have brought us so much joy. All of them have brought us so much joy. So I think it's, it's nice that we have those memories, but now it's time to share them. So what makes this collection so amazing is that it is beyond eclectic, which is a word that I always didn't love. It represents an incredible 
amalgamation of 20 years of passionate collecting while I was editor of El Decor and the editor of Town & Country and House Beautiful and when my husband Mark was an editor at Women's Wear Daily and W Magazine and all of the travels we took for those publications from Paris to New York to Milan to Rome from Boston to Bhutan. Every single thing in this collection represents an amazing moment in our history together and the history of what we did for a living for over 20 years in the magazine business and an incredible array of creators and makers and artisans, many of whom are which are close friends right now. What is it for you to look at these objects and, and to say we're ready to part with them? What does it mean for you? You know, I look at these objects and they all have a great memory. And I think, of, you know, I look at them and they remind me of a special moment in our lives, a place that we visited, something we found in New York or elsewhere. But then I also think, you know, it's time to make new memories. Parting with these objects and these objects is to, you know, to, to sort of cleanse the palette and start new and create wonderful new memories. I really feel like this is a kind of a spiritual cleansing of all of these incredible experiences and these pieces and your orange tree, which is not for sale, and Tartufo, which may be for sale. No, he's not for no, sale. No, he's for sale. For the highest <laughs> bidder, we'll have him. And our chairs and, and vases and everything we've collected over such a long time. I really think of this as a way to kind of bring new things into our lives. Yeah. Which yes. is super exciting. Like new puppies. You coming out? Come on. Ah, it's New like York the same City. old us. <laughs> same old New York, but a new version of us. Yes, exactly. I think it's exciting. Very exciting. It's a beautiful city. That's the one I like that. Yeah. You can converse with your city. Yeah. That's the Empire State Building. It's amazing. So it's kind of behind the next to the cigarette tower to the right. You oh, see you half see of it. Spire. But you also see the half of it. Oh, that's so amazing. Yeah. Kind of like today, like today, that you see forever. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, when you're collectors, like we are, and you see beautiful objects, and you love beautiful things, and you love beautiful fashion, and you love beautiful books, and you love beautiful candlesticks, and you love beautiful furniture it's really hard to say no a lot of the time. And so I think this is a, a way to say, okay, here's the whole collection. Go have fun, go enjoy this for other people. And then for us to start over and kind of really think about what the next phase of collecting looks like for us. I think for a while, it's a no, we're not buying. Although there's been a few things we've been acquiring, but it's a no buy policy. While we really kind of think about how our objects and art relate to the space we want to be living in and what the next phase of our life and our family life really looks like.